Ladies and gentlemen, uh, veterans, elected officials, and distinguished guests and participants. On behalf of my colleagues on the Allegheny County Council and on behalf of all elected officials who are here, uh, I would like to thank you uh, for attending this very uh, solemn and very uh, dedicated and very patriotic uh, event here in Allegheny County. Uh, my name is Jim Byrne. I'm the president of the Allegheny County Council. I would like to thank my colleagues who are with us and uh, many other distinguished guests that are here. Uh, however, before I, I do that, I know we are going to have someone up to sing the national anthem. Uh, but before we uh, get to introductions and the national anthem, I would like uh, for all of us, uh, those who may be sitting, if they could please stand uh, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I would invite Samantha Middlemas to lead us in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we washed were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Samantha. The presentation of colors and salute to the armed forces. I would uh, West Mifflin Area High School Air Force a JROTC and Jen Van Maastricht. Die. I 
my Coast Guard, we fight for you. Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. Farewell to college joys. We we'll sail at break of day. Through our last night on shore. Hail to the foam Until we meet once more Here's wishing you a happy voyage home Heave ho, my lads, heave ho It's a long, long way to go It's a long, long pull With our hatches full Waiting the wind, waiting the sea Fighting the treacherous foe Heave ho, my lads, heave ho, let the sea roll high or low. We can cross any ocean, sail any river, give us the goods and we'll deliver. Join the submarines, we're the men of the merchant marines. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we will fight our country's battle in the air on land and sea. First we fight for right and freedom, and to keep our honor clean, we are proud to claim the of United States Marines. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. I would like to thank our distinguished guests and participants, also some of whom you will be hearing from in just a few seconds. Uh, our state representative, Matt Smith, is here. Uh, from Congressman Doyle's office, Al Smith is with us. From Senator Pippi's office, Will Tommeyer. From the Allegheny County Veterans Affairs office, Ron Conley and Michael Murphy. From the county's park department, Director Andy Beckley and Clarence Hobson. The residents and supervisors from the Kane Center, Director Dennis Biondo. The Tri-County Ambulance Service. Our Director of Public Works, Mr. Joseph Olzak. Also thanks to Cub Scout PAC-8, PAC-661, the Boy Scout District Chairman, Andy Amrine, Boy Scout Troops from the Conestoga District, Boy Scout Troop 15, the Steel City District, Boy Scout Troop 23. We would also like to thank the West Mifflin Area High School's Air Force JROTC Keller Guard, the Cadets, Senior Master Sergeant Otis DeCerbo and Major Scott Harbula, I'd also like to thank VFW Commander of Allegheny County, Millville Zone Post 118, Jason Miller. Veterans groups in attendance, I would like to thank the South Hills Detachment 726 Marine Corps League, the Keystone Paralyzed Vets Disabled Veterans of America, the American Legion 156, VFW District 29 Post 1080, the Retired Enlisted Association, and I'd also like to thank our performers and all of our guests that are with us uh, here today. Uh, our guest addresses, I would like to invite my colleague and the council member who represents uh, this area. Please welcome County Councilman Vince Gaskin. Thank you very much, Jim, and uh, welcome to my, my colleagues who have been so instrumental in helping to fund and maintain this and make this ceremony today, I think, really unique and maybe one of a kind. Uh, when you think of South Park, I, I think representing this area, I've heard so much how it means so much to different people. Uh, it could be the graduation party you had that you'll remember, maybe even exchanging wed wedding vows, uh, maybe learning how to swim. Uh, I've had people tell me that their cardiac rehab has been enhanced by South Park. So you know, the park means so much, it's just not a park. 
I think you could take that analogy to this flag retirement site. Uh, it, it is beautiful. We have a great day today. But it's really what it means, I think, that separates this ceremony and our service today. And that's the respect for the flag and the admiration we have for our men and women who are serving or who have served. It's that respect and admiration, I think, that we start to think about around Memorial Day, maybe, and now we're around Flag Day and, of course, the 4th of July. But, but really, it's every day that if we don't think about it, we should. And perhaps when we have a ceremony like this, it allows us to remember. I'm from Bethel Park, and at the Veterans Memorial that we have on the inscription on one of the monuments, it's sacrifice is meaningless without remembrance. And if you think about that, it really holds so true. We, we need to remember, we need to be here, we need to reflect, respect the flag, respect our country. Look at our neighbors and our friends together as someone who we work together with, whether it's a problem, whether it's good, whether it's bad, it doesn't matter. I think we're into this about maybe five years having this ceremony. Uh, we've tried different things at night and during the day, but what does my heart proud is to see the youngsters out today. Uh, I see more and more of the Cub Scouts, the scouting, uh, more of a family atmosphere, and that's important too, so they can understand the sacrifices that were made by uh, maybe their parents or their grandfathers or grandmothers, who have you, to know where we are today. So in a roundabout way, this retirement area allows us to think about that, that the branches of the service who've protected us, without our freedoms and without the rights they've secured for us, almost everything we do doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what me and my colleagues do or what we want to appropriate or consider because those freedoms are the umbrella that allows us to live our lives in this great country. So when a constituent came to me and said, uh, Councilman Gaskab, I have an idea, it was probably the best idea I've ever heard. And that person was uh, Mr. John Kovach of Bethel Park. Uh, and then the administration and, and Andy and Joe and, and so many others, the County Council staff led by Joe Katniss and Matt, every year put on a tremendous program. But the backdrop is our wonderful country, our wonderful flags, and the way to properly dispose of them. So I could only say that it's been about five years, but we want this to continue for another 500 if we can. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Councilman Gaskeb, and, and thank you for your leadership and uh, for your taking the lead in the initial steps that made this a reality. Uh, also invited to say a few words, and, and before I invite him up, I also have, there are a couple of our other colleagues who are here, uh, Council Members Finnerty and Council Members Cress are with us as well. Gentlemen, thank you as well as our other guests for taking time from your busy schedule to join us uh, on this very ceremonial and important uh, occasion. The chairman of the, uh, pub of the Parks and Recreation Committee uh, is also invited to say a few words. Uh, please welcome my colleague, County Councilman Nick Futilis. Thank you, everyone, for coming this uh, afternoon. Um, if you notice, it's a uh, blue shirt, red tie day. Um, I think Jim missed the uh, memo. <laughs> but that just shows our patriot patriotism. Uh, today, I just want to be brief and say just what the flag means to us. It stands for sacrifice, for freedom, for hope. It is a symbol representing who we are as citizens of this great nation. Today, we pay tribute to the flag by properly and respectfully retiring it. We hope to bring recognition to not only the flag, but also what the flag represents. Sacrifice, freedom, hope, and who the flag represents. The veterans who are here today, the veterans who could not be here today, those currently serving in our country's armed forces overseas, and us as citizens. We pay tribute to the flag because it is an extension of ourselves as citizens of this country. We will retire this flag here in the middle of this plaza in just a few moments. It will be a significant event for everyone here. I ask that when we do retire the flags, that you remember that the flag represents what, what it represents to you and to reflect on how you represent the flag. Thank you.
Thank you, Councilman. And now uh, to uh, provide us with a special presentation, uh, please welcome one of our great leaders here in uh, Allegheny County and in across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Please welcome State Representative Matt Smith. Thank you, Councilman Byrne. And, uh, and I'm very honored to be here, as I am uh, every year when I get to stop over here and uh, look at the, the, the facility that we have and, and remember um, what we all think of and what we all sort of uh, project when we think of the flag. I think Nick said it well, um, sacrifice and honor and, and hope. Um, and, and all that the flag means. It means so much uh, to this great country. And, and uh, as I said, I'm very honored, uh, actually on behalf of myself and uh, State Senator John Pippi, who couldn't be here, uh, to present flags that have flown over the state capitol in Harrisburg to uh, individuals and groups that have had so much uh, to do with creating uh, what we see here today in South Park and as well as keeping the, the tradition going and, and putting uh, sweat and time and effort uh, into doing this great event year after year after year so we can continue to remember and as Vince said um, all the young individuals who are here with us today and in, in learning about what the flag means and and all the sacrifice that has gone into uh, preserving the flag and preserving our freedom so uh, with that I'm very happy to present on behalf of Senator Pippi and myself uh, three state flag three United States flags that have flown over the state capitol uh, in recent uh, days, and I'm going to present the first one to uh, Councilman Gaskeb and Councilman Futelis. And as I said, not just individuals who have had so much to do with creating this uh, this facility as Nick and Vince have done, uh, but as well preserving it for the individuals who continue. Uh, to preserve this event every single year. And with that, uh, on behalf of the Boy Scouts, very happy to present uh, one of our flags to Andy Amrine, uh, who has done so much to preserve this event. And certainly last but not least, the third flag, uh, very happy to present on behalf of the Cub Scouts, uh, to Rick Cunningham and Dave Rubel, who have done so much uh, to keep this event going. So, uh, again, just thank you very much for letting me play a small role in today's ceremony and present these flags on behalf of myself and Senator Pippi. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Smith. At this time, uh, we will have the presentation and lighting of the retired flags. I would respectfully invite uh, my colleagues on the council and our distinguished guests and their represented and or their representatives and the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts to join us uh, for this uh, ceremony. One day I'll see men of all colors sharing words of love or devotion. Stand up and 
and feel the Holy Spirit. Find the power of your faith. Open your heart, Open your heart to, those who need to those in need in the name of love and devotion. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please know that uh, throughout this afternoon uh, and in the minutes ahead, uh, the other Kellers that are going to be um, uh, retired uh, will be done uh, throughout the day. But I would like to thank the Scouts and the Cub Scouts for, uh, for the flags that they retired uh, while we were here to spend time with them. We appreciate that very much. I would also like to thank um, uh, Chief Moffitt and the County Police for being with us today as well. Uh, now to lead us in the singing of God Bless America, please welcome Bob Daly. America, land that we love, stand beside her and guide her with the night through the night from above, from the mountains to the prairies to the ocean, what we found. America, my home, sweet home. Everybody. 
everybody join me for America. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountain to the prairie to the ocean, right with fall. America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And again, as, as we close this program, on behalf of the elected officials that are here and our friends that are with us, and I do see some veterans here, uh, thank you for your service and your great work. It was only a week and a half ago that many of us up here and other elected officials were traveling around this county, state, and nation to the post homes and the American legions throughout this country to thank your colleagues for the sacrifice that they made on behalf of this great nation. Those who didn't come home from the various wars which we have fought to defend what these Kellers stand for. What we have learned over these years as a nation is that freedom is definitely not free. It is a word that our enemies despise. It is a word that our enemies wish to take from us generation after generation. In the American fighting soldier, generation after generation has stood strong and stood firm and answered the call of duty and made that ultimate sacrifice to, so that we can stand here today and have a celebration like this, so that we could stand with our brothers and sisters on Memorial Day and thank them for that sacrifice. The seeds of democracy are taking root throughout this great world due to the perseverance of the United States of America and the men and women who fly these colors and defend what they represent. Please remember their sacrifices as we move forward from this very solemn event. And please remember that the constant of freedom will always defeat the radical variables that we face as the greatest nation on earth. God bless all of you. God bless the United States. And God bless the sacrifices that our heroes have made. Thank you all for being part of this ceremony. And have a great day. Thank you.